Hi, we're outside here and uh, the sun is really beaming on us and what I want to do is show you the shadow length and the relationship of my height with shadow length. So we'll be measuring the shadow length out here and then going inside and doing the rest of the calculation inside. So when you do this, you gotta make sure you stand upright. You have a, I have a two meter stick on the bottom and you want to have the meter stick start roughly about where the toes start. Somewhere and then when you stand, stand upright, like this, as upright as you can, and then go like this. And now I'm gonna to try to peek down and see how long my shadow is, okay? So ideally, if we were doing this as a lab, we would have a couple people, and they would be measuring each other's shadow then. So roughly you could tell there, when I'm standing, you could tell the edge of my shadow is about the 70 mark, that means it went one meter and about 30 more centimeters. So it's, my shadow length is 130 centimeters. And then we'll go inside and do some calculations from that. Okay. Okay, we're back in after the shadow uh, experiment. So we saw that uh, I was standing and my shadow was 130 centimeters. My height is roughly five foot nine inches, which is 69 inches. And we know one inch is 2.54 centimeter. So when I multiply that, that's gonna come out to be 69 times 2.54, about 175 centimeters. So I'm a 175 centimeter person casting a 130 centimeter shadow. So this angle that the shadow is making, we can call that theta, the angle that the shadow is making with respect to the, to the top of my head here, we could say tangent of theta is equal to 130 divided by 175, and then take the tangent inverse of 13 or 130 over 175. So let's calculate that. So I'm gonna calculate what that angle is. Okay, about 36 degrees. So I'm not being very exact in this experiment uh, because I just wanna get a ballpark and show you what the significance of that is. So what's the significance? I'm casting a 36 degree shadow. Well, we live in LA. The LA, it has a latitude of roughly 34 degrees, okay? That means we're 34 degrees, Los Angeles is 34 degrees from the Earth's equator. Earth's equator. So we're 34 degrees from Earth's equator. The other thing that we know is that the sun's path across the sky, which we call the ecliptic, makes the sun go up and down in the sky, and we, we draw a path like this. So if you were to draw the celestial equator, and the celestial equator would be exactly over the Earth's equator. And the sun's path, when you look at the maps of the celestial sphere, the sun's path looks like this. Okay? The highest that the sun goes in the sky is 23 and a half. The lowest that the sun goes in the sky is negative 23 and a half. And that's due to the Earth's tilt of the Earth's axis. So the highest point that the sun gets is on June 21, which we call summer solstice. And on December 21, the sun goes negative 23 and a half, which we call the beginning of winter, winter solstice. At what point does the sun cross the celestial equator? Well, that's the day we call autumn or fall equinox. Okay, and that's called roughly about September 21. After September 21, the sun begins getting lower in the sky than the celestial equator. So today's date is October 1st. 
So roughly speaking, we could do more exact calculations, of course, but roughly speaking, we could say the sun, it's been about one week or one and a half weeks from uh, September 21. So the sun's angle roughly is about negative one, negative two degrees. And if we wanted to be more exact, we could make calculations on that. So the sun's deck angle in the sky, which is similar to the latitude of the sun, the sun is two degrees below the celestial equator. Now let's put it together. If, if LA is 34 degrees, Above the, celestial, uh, above the Earth's equator, and the sun is two degrees below the celestial equator, that means how many degrees is the sun from us? 34 plus two, the sun is 36 degrees from us. Okay, put them together, 36 degrees. If we lived at negative two degree latitude, like a little below the equator, the sun would be directly overhead today, and we would cast no shadow. But because we live in LA, we should be casting a 36 degree shadow. And by my rough experiment, I showed you that I am actually casting a 36 degree shadow. Now this only holds true more or less around noontime when the sun is at the highest position in the sky. So it would change during the course of the day. So right now, uh, when I did the experiment, it was about one o'clock in the afternoon. So as the sun starts getting lower, 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 my shadow would increase because it's gonna get lower in the uh, sky. So when you're trying to do this experiment, you should try to do around noon or around one o'clock in the day when the sun is directly overhead. And you will see that uh, the angle is gonna be about the same. By the way, this kind of an experiment was done by Eratosthenes, the, uh, the Greek uh, scientist who before Christ figured out the circumference of the earth using shadow lengths and stuff. So when you take astronomy, you learn more details about that. Okay? Thank you.